Hello little friends. Today we are going on a super fun adventure with this magical clock. We are going to learn about shapes. Practice counting. Tell time. And play a matching game. Are you ready to start? Let's go. Wow. Look at these fun shapes. Let's meet them. Count their sides and find them around us. This is a quatrefoil. It's like a flower with four petals. You might see this on a fancy window or a pretty design in a park. This is a triangle. It has three sides. 1 2 3 Easy as pie Triangles are in pizza slices Yum This is a square All four sides are equal 1 2 3 and 4 Squares are in blocks or on a checkerboard It's a hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hexagons have six sides. You can find hexagon in honeycombs made with busy bees. This is an oval. No sides, but it's smooth all around. Ovals are just like eggs. This is a trapezoid. It has four sides: one, two, three, and four. It looks like the shape of a rooftop. This is a diamond. It has four sides. One, two, three, and four. Just like the diamonds you find on a ring. So shiny. This is a rectangle. It has two long sides and two short sides. Doors and books around us are rectangle shape. This. is an octagon it has eight sides you can see octagons on stop signs this is a star twinkle twinkle it has five points stars are on stickers or shiny decorations oh no the clock is missing its shape friends Can you help me put them back where they belong? Let's match each of these shape to its home on the clock. But watch carefully, I might make a silly mistake. Here's a quatrefoil. It belongs to number 1. Let's match it to its spot. Good job. Hmm. Does this triangle belong to number 2? Wait a minute. No, that's not right. The triangle belongs to number 3. <laughs> okay, I've got this parallelogram. Does it fit on number 4? Oops, no, that's the wrong spot. The parallelogram belongs to number 2. Let's fix that. Next, we have number 4. Let's place it on number 4. It's a square. Four equal sides. It's a pentagon. It has five sides. Let us place it on number 5.
Next, we have number six. It has six sides. Let us place this hexagon on number six. Our next block is number seven. This is an oval. Let us place our number seven. Next, we have number eight. This is an octagon. Let us place it on number eight. Next, we have number nine. A trapezoid. Number 9 is the correct spot. Next, I have number 10. It has 4 sides. Is this the correct spot? No. The correct spot is this. Our next block is number 11. A rectangle. Let us place it on 11. Our last block is number 12, which is a star. Five pointy stars. Now the clock is complete. Let's learn how it works. The short hand is the R hand. It tells us what R it is. The long hand is the minute hand. Let's practice reading time. The clock on the wall goes round and round, round and round, round and round. The clock on the wall goes round and round all day long. When the R hand points to number one, number one, number one. When the R hand points to number one, it's one o'clock. When the R hand points to number two, number two. Number two, when the R hand points to number two, it's two o'clock. When the R hand points to number three, number three, number three, when the R hand points to number three, it's three o'clock. When the R hand points to number four, Number four, number four. When the R hand points to number four, it's four o'clock. When the R hand points to number five, number five, number five. When the R hand points to number five, it's five o'clock. R hand points to number six. Number six, number six. When the R hand points to number six, it's six o'clock. When the R hand points to number seven, number seven, number seven. When the R hand points to number seven, it's seven o'clock. When the R hand points to number 8, number 8, number 8. When the R hand points to number 8, it's 8 o'clock. When the R hand points to number 9, number 9, number 9. When the R hand points to number 9, it's 9 o'clock. When the R hand points to number 10, number 10, number 10. When the R hand points to number 10, it's 10 o'clock. When the R hand points to number 11, 
Number 11. Number 11. When the R hand points to number 11, it's 11 o'clock. When the R hand points to number 12, number 12. Number 12, when the R hand points to number 12, it's 12 o'clock. Wow friends, we had so much fun with our clock toy today. We learned about shapes, we matched and found numbers and we even learned how to read a clock. You all are amazing helpers. Thank you so much. See you next time. Thank you for watching friends. Don't forget to subscribe for more learning fun.